Welcome back to the Daily Edition. Well, he burst onto the scene four years ago with an impressive stint on The X Factor. And since then, well, we just can't get rid of him. Uh, after winning Dancing with the Stars and landing a plum gig on Home and Away, it's pretty clear Johnny Ruffo is a master of all trades. He can sing. He can dance. So ladies and gentlemen, here he is, your Dancing with the Stars champion for 2012, Johnny Lambo! And he can act. Hey, it's fun to start again. What are you doing? She's admiring the view. <laughs> I hate to say it, she's not admiring it back. That's because she's playing hard to get. It's safe to say Johnny Ruffo's a true triple threat. These days, the 27-year-old stealing the show is the troublemaking, heartbreaking Chris Harrington home and away. What's happened? What part of the plan, my friend? What plan? Plan to get a date with the hottest cop in town. But in typical Ruffo fashion, too much is never enough. The former X Factor favourite still has a pop career in his sights, with Johnny about to release what's sure to be the next big Aussie hit. Here he is, Johnny Ruffo <laughs> joins us live at the desk. Welcome back to the show, mate. Oh, it's great to be here. You've been on Home and Away for uh, a couple of years now. Have you settled into the summer bay scene? Yeah, it's been fantastic, you know, and it always helps when you've got cast members that are so welcoming. It's like a family there, you know. The first, I was so nervous the, the first day I was there, and the first scene I ever shot, I, I didn't have any dialogue, so it was really good. I was just standing behind a tree, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that always helps. But, yeah, the, the crew, the cast, everyone's fantastic. They really welcome you, so it's been, it's been a great journey. Now, your character, Chris, has had some, some tough times. <laughs> Um, and, and a bit of unrequited love. Have you had many of those experiences in your, you know, your normal life um, yeah. outside of summer <laughs> Absolutely, day? absolutely. My whole life's been about that. Just failed relationships. <laughs> but uh, no, it's good. It's, it's kind of good when you have some experiences that your character has, you know, when you're reading the dialogue because you can kind of take from that and you can use it. So uh, it's, it's, been, it's been good fun. <laughs> Uh, next week, Chris and Spencer get a call from their uh, absent father. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, we get some news that's uh, not the greatest news, and uh, you know we sort of have to deal with it. And, and you know, Spencer being Chris's brother, you know they deal with it together. So they have they have a few decisions to make in the in the coming weeks. So uh, it's it's going to be pretty tough for them. Mm. Okay. Now, Lynn McGranger, we love her on this <laughs> program, and she loves you. She reckons that you're her favourite co-star. Oh, that's very nice of her. She's, uh, she's very You kind sweet. of have to say the same thing back. Yeah, no, she, no. <laughs> absolutely. Every interview I ever do, she's definitely one of my favourites, if not my favourite, hands down, because she's incredible to work with. And, you know, Chris living now with, you know, Chris lives with Irene. He works oh, with Irene in the diner. And they've got this sort of, it's sort of like a mother-son relationship, and it's, uh, <laughs> It's a lot of fun to work with her. She's deaf, she's always hitting me and smacking me and telling me off, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's good fun. Oh, that's good. Sounds she's it. a great guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she's great. She's always telling me off for swearing every now and then. <laughs> um, buddy, outside of the acting, you're still very active in the music scene. How do you manage to keep both of those things going? Um, yeah, you know, the first when I first started on Home and Away, it was quite difficult juggling the two. You know, Home and Away were very accommodating with, you know, I'm like, oh, I've got a gig this week, I've got to take time for this and that and the other. So uh, they've been amazing. So I've got them to thank for still keeping me in it. You know, the last year I've probably taken a little bit of a hiatus for the music. But the last two months I've been flat out in the studio recording and I've just mm. recently filmed my uh, new music video, my latest one. I filmed yeah, it yesterday, weekend, actually, right? yesterday or Saturday, yeah. So. Now tell us about that. It's supposed to be top secret, so let's make it not um, so top secret. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, it's... Uh Oh, it's, good. it's good fun. I really enjoyed filming. It took a lot of work and planning to get it all together, but we had this magician. He was fantastic. <laughs> he was the, the dealer for the poker game that was there, so uh, that was good fun. And I had, I had a blast filming it, you know. I had so much fun, but... Uh, Sounds a little bit of a uh, jazzy groove yeah, it's, going it's on, a bit of a different it's sound. Like funky, you know, with the, with the strings and the, the brass, so... We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully people like it. It's a slightly new direction. It's probably more in line with my, my most recent single, which was mm -hmm. a year and a half ago now. So it's more in line with Untouchable. But it's uh, sort of What's sticking down one? that What's right. It called? It's called She's Got That O. Mm. It's like the, the X factor, the wow, the wow factor. But I mean, I, there's a bit of a twist in it. Is it out now? It's not no, out. it's not out yet, so it's coming out, I think, mid-May. So we're looking around May 14th, May 16th. We just filmed it. We've got to edit the, the music video and then 
the promo I'm, tour begins. <laughs> I'm just watching that and you're, you're in your tux and uh, you're very much the star. Um, of course, you, you were a concreter, right? Yes, in, in I was, Perth. yeah. I mean, is this, is this what you dreamed of doing? Um, yeah, I always did. I always got told to shut up by my old man on site because I kept right. singing and, and just being a bit of a larrikin. But uh, I've always wanted to, you know, do music, acting, singing, dancing, just entertainment. You know, and it's, you know, X Factor is a great platform for, for me. To, it's enabled me to do that, you know, and, and build a career out of it in the, in the previous years. Come on, mate. Let's be honest. <laughs> You'd love to be back on the bull float, wouldn't you? Just getting it right for get the, the old trail. man. Get on the trail. Hey, get on the trail. Get on the trail. Get on the trail machine. What did, you, what did you learn from being a concreter? I mean, apart from whatever you said um, about a bull trap, which I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I... So, I mean, look, coming into this industry, you've learned to appreciate what we've got so much more. Mm -hmm. Because with concrete, you know, you're up at 5am every morning, not that we're not, but you're, you're digging footings, you know, you're digging holes and filling it back in with concrete. So, uh, yeah, it's very hard work physically and, and you know, you really got to work hard to make a dollar. So, you really appreciate what I've got, you know, with Home and Away and, and my music career and, and everything. So. You can't I guess, really call that work. Can yeah, you, that's you right. You know what they say. You know, you, if you find a job that you love, you never work a day in your life. So yeah. Oh, oh lovely. Well said. <laughs> See, Monique one. doesn't say that to me. She says to me, <laughs> "Lucky you've got a trade to fall back yeah, on." Yeah, that's I'm what saying, my old man says. <laughs> I get text like, messages. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm the same. Fine. I'll get messages from my old man. He'll be like, "You're still just a concrete mate." Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> no, that's a beautiful saying, mate. All yeah. the best and congrats Thank on you very uh, much. all your success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with the single too. Thank you. Great to talk to you.